final round three match. And um, this is going to be our final round three match. Tomorrow we're going to be doing semifinals. I am joined here by Iron, um, who is going to be quiet oh. today. But <laughs> looks like it is. I said it and they didn't listen. Oh my god, guys. That's right. There we go. <laughs> okay, so we're going to hop in here. We will put on music here once we get into the game. I just don't want it to be uh, distracting. I'm not playing. There we go. So, we are going to be hopping in here to the final best of three. The rest are going to be best of fives. And Iron is given lobby host and ref. And I think we're all ready. Okay. First map Spotlight is going to be Everdream. If we get the ready from him, yes. He's ready. Here we go. Everdream is going to be game one. I'm not sure what two and three are going to be, but we are going to see rather soon as we do hop into the final best of three for the Wu-Tang Cup number two. Sign-ups for three, you said, are going to be posted as soon as we start semis? Yep. Awesome. Here we go. It's going to be a good old-fashioned ZVT here. Both LGN players. Both, I think, very good players. Let's see if we can get some uh, a full best of three today. <laughs> Once we uh, so. load in. There we go. Spawning in the top right corner of Everdream LE. It is the Red Zerg. MACD West. And, and in the um, bottom left corner. Oh, what are you doing it? Oh, well. In go the ahead. bottom left corner, we have Smart Asian Guy. The Blue Terry. This is going to be an interesting clan snipe here. I will turn the music back on when, uh. When, um, you know. <laughs> something actually interesting happens. <laughs> so far, uh, basic, you know. Pretty standard openers here going for the, what could probably be the 17 hatch here from MACD West. Yep, the drone is going to get sent out. And yeah, it's going over the natural hatchery location. Meanwhile, smart Asian guy walling off the top ramp he has. Apparently there's lag. That's unfortunate, though. <laughs> Second refinery goes down for smart Asian guy. Uh, now, what we have seen from him la in the past few games we've seen him play is that he does enjoy that mech style of play. Of c Against Zerg, though, he does play battle cruisers, at least as an opener. And there's ping issues. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, maybe we'll get to see battle cruisers. What was it? Oh, shit, Control Alt F. Oh, we're in Singapore. <laughs> Why are we in Singapore? <laughs> we finally got to Singapore. <laughs> <laughs> are you in Singapore? I I don't think so. I've been playing I on the US. Yeah, but when you press Control Alt F. Yeah, I it does say Singapore. That's really weird. My entire thing just got uh, really screwed up. What is this? Let's, there we go. Let's remake this. Yep. <laughs> well, oh, boy. Before. Remake time. Okay, we're going to try well, that again. We didn't, were we trying to get to Singapore last time? And yeah, thought, yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, like, now it does. Now it makes it work. Oh, my God. Region. I'm on best match. I'll set it to Eastern. That's really weird. Okay, I'm party leader. Mac D West left. I'm gonna re is he restarting probably. Let me see if I can fix my issue real quick with my uh, hotkeys. Unless that doesn't happen again. Just bear with me one second, guys. Okay. <laughs> Delay catch big sad. Perfect. No more issues. Hopefully. Okay, yeah. 
That was that was big sad right there. I, yeah. I don't know why we were on on Singapore, but <laughs> quite interesting. There we go. I'm going to give him lead. We all on US. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> we're going to try this again. <laughs> Seems uh, any game Mac D West plays in is just a curse to be uh, on Singapore or some other server that we've never heard of. Here we go. No more Singapore, thanks. <laughs> well, hopefully uh, that got fixed. I don't know why Blizzard is being Blizzard, I guess. When we wanted and... to go to Singapore, we wouldn't go to Singapore. I saw Eastern United States in my corner. We're good this time, I think. So we should be uh should be good. No more uh ping issues. We we can hope. We are in the Eastern, Eastern United States, spawning again in the top right corner of Everdream, playing as the Red Zerg. It is from LGN MacD West. And in the bottom left, we have the Blue Terran Smart Asian guy. Here we go. Getting back into game one, as we see. Again, the same basic things are what I'm going to expect here. I don't think anyone scouted anything yet, so we're going to hopefully see the same stuff. Nothing, you know, too finicky or fancy. MacD West about to send out the drone going for the hatchery again. Smart Asian guy, as I said before. Should be grabbing the refinery soon. He does like to play mech and battle cruisers, as we saw in the past few games with him. Nothing too fancy just yet. First refinery going to finish here in a second. And that barracks about halfway done. Overlord's coming across the map. Extractor goes down here for MACD West and the spawning pool as well. 17, 18, 17 that looked like to me. I might have missed one thing, though. But that re that barracks is rallied across the map. Should The Reaper production is what I'm going to sense. Yep, the Reaper comes out along with the Orbital Command. The SCV is going across the map to scout it out here. Overlords are going to... Uh, I don't think the Overlords saw it. Will the Overlords see it scouting? They do not. That's okay, though. Unless he goes for a cheeky uh, proxy. Doesn't look like it, though. He does throw down the second command center at the natural, which the Overlord will see here in a minute. All smart Asian guys going to see in this game, in this uh, scout is that drone coming down to the natural, you know, getting rallied out. Uh, spawning pool completes. Queen is on the way. Four lings. Second queen on the way. Very standard Zerg opener. SCV is going to... Uh, Oh, the Overlord actually on the bottom side of the map does catch the Reaper going across. That's interesting. What is he going to do with that information? Metabolic Boost is starting it here as the second refinery goes down for Smart Asian Guy a little bit later this game. You know, Ping might have thrown him off. Uh, Tech Lab coming down for the Terran player. Is that a Reactor? That's a Reactor. He's going to do the factory switch. Reaper here being microed against the Lings. Mac D. West, you gotta control those Lings, man. There we go. Drone getting pulled, too. He looks like he wants to go for an early third hatchery this game. It looks like it's gonna be a longer macro game as another Zergling does get picked off here. Uh, there are no Zerglings left. So he takes the third hatchery at a different location. I That Overlord positioning right down here on this corner does concern me a little bit. You know what I mean? Alien. Hellion battle cruisers, like you said. It it should be. My only concern like is it. he's getting a third gas. It's very gassy. Yeah. Still one gas, only one worker on gas right now for the Zerg player. 
Uh, Tenlings being produced along with that third hatchery. The, the Reaper is going to get sniped by that queen almost. Nope, it is going to get out with 12 health. Metabolic boost here finishes in about... Eight seconds now. Second gas going down on the, the... The gas goes down on the natural. Still only the second gas in the game. He's probably going to resaturate the main in here in a minute. Yep, he does that right then. It's oversaturated. There we go. That's fixed. Uh, Roach Warren thrown down behind the natural. He doesn't want it out on the... Uh, he doesn't want it up in the main in case. Um, the only thing with that is the Hellions will scout it if they um, you can get back that far into the mineral line, which I'm pretty sure they'll be able to do. Third... Early third base is... Uh, Pretty interesting choice here, though, by MacD West, especially against, uh, as we know, smart Asian guy likes to play. The, we see the fusion core coming up already with the tech lab uh, starport. It is going to be BCs, but six roaches are in production right now. I'm not sure if Mac uh, watched his replays. That might have been a very wise decision. Still no layer here for Mac. Um, no spores either. He's just. It looks like he just might be trying to end the game before uh, the battle cruiser can come out. I mean, the battle cruiser started, and it has um, about I think 70 seconds until it spawns. The Zerg units are going to start rallying across the map here. He does have an army supply of 38, and he and but smart Asian guy is up in workers. He has a lot of Hellions here too, eight of them in fact. As the a few lings run up, one of them gets roasted alive here. A more, bunch more lings, roaches, everything running across the map. One battle cruiser and Yamato cannon being researched for smart Asian guy right now. The lings are just being burnt alive the roaches aren't there yet what are you doing you got to keep them back until the roaches get there man more roaches continuing to walk across the map some more lings come in to back this up a command center goes down to try to hold the wall the supply depot gets lowered though the lings make it over to the roaches make it over the roaches are going to make it over too oh this is just disastrous that battle cruiser is going to get out but 36 lings are in production 40 now i'm pretty sure the battle cruiser can hold but at least there's going to be a lot of damage to um Smart Asian guys in economy. Five SCVs going down already, along with almost all these Hellions are going to be guaranteed to go down. SCVs getting sniped here. Two Ravagers. Two Widow Mines in production, too. Uh, trying to hold off the no just sheer number of Zerglings running across the map. The Battle Cruiser finally is going to find its way. Widow Mine is going to do some nice damage, only picking about four Lings. But 19 SCVs are down for Smart He's Asian guy. This, this is, is crazy. this is a this is an interesting game one. Mac is just trying to end this before he can get into his mech army, which is, I from my point of view, that's a good decision. But the Yamato cannon's gonna finish. I don't think he's gonna be able to finish this game. For some reason, all the SCVs got pulled to the natural. Where the Zerg army is, the Lings are gonna run in 26, 27, 28, 30 workers down. It's just keep it just keeps skyrocketing. He's gonna lose all his workers here. The command center is forced to lift. That's actually an orbital command. My mistake. 47 workers. 47 two workers. Two battle cruisers is what holds smart Asian guy in this game. He's going to have to tack jump, but in the mineral line, we do see spore crawlers. There is a layer down that's morphing right now. It's just about done. But there's one worker left. There's one SCV left. 48 like SCVs died. He needs his queens right now. The battle cruisers do have Yamato cannon. They're gonna tack jump across this map. Well, as soon as they kill this last dying, last remaining roach here. God, that was just a really powerful attack by Mac. He's sure not going across the map yet. Oh wait, the battle cruisers do get selected here. They're gonna are they gonna take they're gonna try to take out the overlords probably and block some of the supply to uh, force a. Slower reaction. Three more spore crawlers going down. Three queens being made. Some roaches and the spire being is going down right now. The spire is guarded very heavily by the queen and the second one's about to pop, along with that second spore, uh, going with the second spore crawler right there. So the Hellions are going to try to harass these drones. The roaches are coming. No drones go down. No drones went down. That's He's got two queens and a roach. So that's that's amazing. The Here comes the battle cruisers three the more things. roaches <laughs> walking across the map. The battle cruisers think to themselves, "Okay, we got to go deal with that." The Hellions can't fight roaches. The little Hellion sneaks by. He's trying to see, uh, get some scouting information, see if Mac is on a fourth yet. Honestly, if I were Mac, I would just go for it at this point. Seven overlords in production. He is, as I said, he's just going to go for it. It feels. The third battle cruiser almost finishing up. He this has is some mules, even though he lost a lot of SCPs. Mules, mules. Terrans mules. are always in the game. It feels they just have yeah. mules. Yeah, so, you lose everything still. 
Yeah, Roach is uh, being burnt alive. Corruptors in the production tab here for uh, for Mac. That is a great answer. Seven corruptors are just going to be able to rip these BCs from the sky, especially with the assistance of the queens and the spore crawlers at every base. It looks like two queens at every base, at least in close proximity. Spores everywhere. There's an unsaturated gas in the main. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna look at that right now. That nope. Another one in the natural, and the corruptors are gonna pop here. And the two BCs, with the third one lagging behind, are going to uh, continue to rally across the map. Smart Asian guy, I notice you're doing something interesting. Oh, Yamato Cannon's going down on both queens, too. Both queens are going to go down here. That is the only thing. He has one more Yamato Cannon uh, until these next two recharge. Corruptors are going to fly across them, fly into the battlecruisers. The one attack jumps saving. out. Here we go. Another Yamato Cannon being fired. One Corrupt goes down. Another nice tack jump out, saving the BCs at half health. Smart Asian guy knows he, has to, knows he has to manage his resources very well. That one going down to red health. None of them going below about 100 health, though. The lowest one is at 125. They are going to be repaired by those SCVs. Command Center back in the wall off here for Smart Asian guy. He is trying to recover in this game. Four BCs, though. The only thing, even though Matt killed about 48 SCVs, I think was the count at the end, Smart Asian Guy had an enormous economy. An enormous um, bank, I'm sorry. He had an enormous bank saved up. So he could just he can just afford to do this. Um, the Zerg is going into the into Infestation Pit. He's probably going to go into Hive. I'm not sure if it's going to be Broodlord or Ultra Tech. This is going to be uh, quite an interesting... Game, uh, very scrappy so far as the fourth base is being taken right now. More corruptors are being pumped out here with ten more roaches. That infestation pit finishes, and I'm pretty sure we're gonna see a hive morph in very soon, if not right now. There's only one worker on that gas. Looking back at the Terran player, the tech lab going down on the barracks. Very interesting. I'm not sure what's going to happen here. I don't really see him going for bio. One of he might just six switch it. enough for four battle cruisers. Yeah. Six, eight corruptors and some battle cruisers. And One's going to fly across and uh, meet the fleet head on, it feels, as the roach is going to come from the side. Battle cruisers might be forced to recall home or just fly back home. The roaches are going to break in, though, with no issue. The corruptors here to guard the roaches at least stall for a little bit of time. Four SCVs down immediately. Roaches just destroying the SCVs. Battle cruisers tack jump home. I'm pretty sure they were really close. The barracks sitting there as a scout. It looks like four, three, um, four Yamato cannons take out four corruptors. Uh, that is very interesting, as the Corruptors are going to try to do something to the BCs. The Roaches are just running in, though. I don't know if this game is winnable for Smart Asian Guy. The pressure for Mac is just ridiculous, and he is up 100 supply right now. He's going to lift the Orbital Command here. Mac, this is, this is just oppressive, man. Seven more Roaches and three Corruptors are in the production tab for him. One Battlecruiser is pretty low on health, but there are only th two Corruptors left, and they're going after the Orbital Commands. One of them is going to be obliterated by these four BCs, and the other one is going to... They are going to now kill an Overseer, but again, 43 SCVs going down. No workers are around left for Mac right now. There's one Thor out. He's going after the he's going after the fusion core after this. That fifth battle cruiser is not gonna get out. We're going into hive for the Zerg. Another queen coming down on that fourth base. Meanwhile, a smart Asian guy sits at no workers. Mac is it he's at sixty six? This is just it's gonna burn ya. Forty health ticks down. That starport's gone. Two corruptors. The battle cruiser is going to try to save the Thors. Smart Asian guy is trying. No, he repairs the starport at the last millisecond before it goes down. He knows that's his lifeline in this game. But seven more corruptors are coming in for Mac. I don't know, Iron. What do you think is going to happen this in, for the rest of this game? <laughs> oh, really well for Mac. I think I, sure everyone thought Smart Asian guy was the favorite here. but I did as well. No offense to Mac, but... The games so he's the been playing against Zerg. Us, you know, with a good coach behind him. True. True. Battlecruiser is going to attack jump into the main. One of the battlecruisers is very low. It's at 39 health, 27. Oh, Three. Oh, it does go this. down. He loses a battlecruiser. That's huge. A bunch of uh, corruptors coming these. down. He's going to lose oh, them. He elects to Yamato oh. Cannon and GG gets called. Mac takes game one. Okay. <laughs> okay. Here we go.
Mac takes nice. game one. That was just oppressive, man. The early game pressure into picking. I think, I think he picked a total of over a hundred SCVs. No, not even that. He picked ninety-one SCVs. It's right there in front of me. I don't know what I'm talking about. Ninety-one SCVs died. <laughs> ninety-one. SCVs, man. That's just... That's ridiculous. As we see here, Smart Asian Guy had the army advantage here for just a little bit of time. But as soon as he start, As soon as those roaches just obliterated everything, we're gonna see... We'll take a look at the resource collection rate. We, sh we see... We see terrible... Absolutely terrible drops here. One of them literally is just a cliff face that's an almost a 90 degree angle without in that final attack. That was. Well, that was. That was a game, alright. What a that game one. What a game one. Yeah, who is this to watch GSL? Yeah, man, why would you watch GSL? Hold on, everyone. I have to do a shameless plug really quick. Everyone make sure to come back June 6th to check out the Legion Invitational. We are going to have a lot of pretty well-known players playing in it. People like Jim Rising, Starkiller, Hydra, Lightsider, Raiden, Aster, Quas, Savage, Viper, Flickerwisp, Benjadeth, Rainmaker, and more. I do now have confirmation that Florencio will be casting it, so that's something to look forward to. I will bring you guys more on that later. For now, we are going to hop into game two. It is on Eternal Empire. This was Smart Asian Guy's pick. He is calling the ready. I just need to make sure. One. Okay, good. They gave you ref. And you good. Here we go. Oh, Mac is asking for one second. So after that, uh, that game one, I'm not sure what to expect for this game two. You know, Matt Bio could either from go smart for Asian guy. Bio from Smart Asian Guy. That will be the day. The day Smart Asian Guy goes Bio is the day we all die. <laughs> He's gonna try it. That's ridiculous. I can't believe what we just saw. That was a he great game. What, uh... Yeah, he tried to. Basically, he tried to go for a, a nut kick, but then, like, Macdy kicked him in the nut first. <laughs> like, they both went for a nut kick. Counter kick. But, Boom. But counter nut kick was... <laughs> counter kick. Here you go. Here fi have 50 roaches. Here's oh, by the way, roaches. I have corruptors as well. Oh. <laughs> that was for sure a, a quick split-second decision um, by Greg. Yeah. <laughs> it felt like a very that yeah, that good, seemed a bit uh <laughs> good decision making. Yeah. I mean nothing against Mac, he is diamond, but I'm not I'm not sure about the uh quickness of that decision if it was just him. Well, we are gonna be hopping into game two here with uh Mac and Smart Asian guy. Here we go. Eternal Empire <sighs> After that game one Let's uh let's see what's gonna happen. Eternal Empire definitely what I would call a Terran favored map, especially if because if he makes siege tanks. But anyway, spawning in the top right position of Eternal Empire, playing for Legion, it is Mac D West. In the as the Red Zerg. And in the bottom left we have Smart Asian Guy as the blue Terran. Down one game. Yeah, that was, um, I'm going to put it as 10. I know it's not 10, guys, but this this interface is a bit screwy. I will learn how to work it one day, I promise you. <laughs> he's not up 10 games, he's only up one game. Oh, that's an early spawning pool and a gas for Mac. He's going to try to end this really quick. I guess they all want to go watch GSL. I mean, I don't blame him, but still. Mm. This is... This is absolutely gonna be an all in here. I wonder if Smart Asian Guy can hold. It Bane could. Link? I feel like it's, Bane it's gonna be Banelings. It's Greg. We all know it's gonna be Banelings. The Bane train. The Bane train is coming. The Bane pain train. 
Oh, well, smart Asian guy. Walling off here. I'm gonna turn the music down just a little bit. So I can talk over it. And, uh, yeah. No expand. Oh, he's gonna try to do it like, is this, is, oh, he's going for this. Oh, yeah. No. No, it's not a proxy hatch. It's gonna. It. I was thinking it could have been two base muta here for a second, but with the metabolic boost, there's no pull out of gas, but there's no, there's no base. There is no natural expansion yet. No natural. Expansion. Smart Asian guy takes it though. He does take a natural expansion. Will the SCV Bailing. ski that? Like I, I Baneling I call nest. It. Yep. Four more links in production. The SCV is gonna scout the six links running across the map. If he gets into the main right now, this is gonna be huge. He doesn't though. He does get picked off before that. Four more links are gonna continue to flood across the map here. Four Mac. Now, if I'm Smart Asian guy, I'm panicking. I know I have a Reaper, but this is gonna be absolutely a lot. It is a Bane bust, and he does not have what it takes to hold right now. Second refinery going down. I don't think that's the right call. You need Marines, my guy. You need Marines. A bunker's going to be built next, but the Lings already are here. You know, more continuing across. The Bane Ling Nest is almost done, too. The Lings make it into the main. The Reaper is microed beautifully, though. The Reactor is finishing off. The Zerglings on the low ground are going to go for the SCV, building that bunker. Reactor finishing, along with Metabolic Boost, finishing here in about 10 seconds. The Factory going down. Smart Asian guys just... Was, uh, he's not a... Uh, no, he's going to keep going. The SCV is going to get picked, though. Two SCVs picked off that. Eight more Lings in production here. You need to raise that supply depot, man. You don't raise it and you lose it. You're going to lose it anyway, but that's unfortunate. Two Marines are going to come out here. He has to kite this like a madman. More Lings continuing to flood across the map here. As he loses the Reaper! He's going to lose everything. The, the, Marine, the SCVs are getting pulled to deal oh, with these Lings the here. Marine the Marine lives. The Marine barely lives. Bane, six Bane Lings morphing. He's going to target that barracks, and we, as I know, it's going to be able to pick everything like in the reactor. radius. It's a reactor and the supply people. If you, yeah, it'll just take it all. The entire ramp is going to be you gone. Won't, you won't be able to produce anything. Smart Asian guy, you need to respond to this quicker. He's just going to he's gonna run these Banes up the ramp. He's gonna, two Marines do get out, though. That's very good. Oh, he goes for the reactor instead. Okay, reactor, one Bane Ling. Bane Ling gets reactor shot. Either. Here we go, the, the bunker's up! The bunker gets up at the last second, SCV's on repair, the Lings are going to go right into the mineral line here. And the SCV's are going to be picked apart slowly, but, okay, three remain. Ten more Lings in production, the natural finally is going down from Max, smart Asian guy. Props to you, man, you held! You held that ridiculous Bane bust, good job! I know you held mine a few weeks ago, but dang, good job, man. Granted, I say that and seven more Banes are being made. <laughs> but there are Hellions now. I think he's going to be okay. Hellions are here. The natural is being repaired. The Ling's still here. 14 SCVs got picked. Damage. A little bit sloppy. More Bane, more bane Lane's going to hit this. He's going to just go for it. Hope. Yeah. Uh, oh, the, no okay, come on. We need to kite that Hellion. The SCV is going... Oh, very nice. Micro here oh, on the two Hellions. Okay. Yeah, Straight I would at this point. Line. So the two Hellions, oh, one of them almost goes down. He's going to try to kite it around the bunker. Only one Ling remains. Three SCVs go down two, to this. Two Ling, two Ling. Two? Oh, yeah, yes, two. No more. No more. Okay, well, um, this is a very scrappy game, Mac. What are you doing, man? This is ridiculous. It's intense. <laughs> the Marines are unloaded out of the bunker. The bunker finishing was just ridiculously clutch for smart Asian guy, I feel. An overlord's oh. gonna get sniped. Okay, that's a good pick. Blue Flame is finishing time. here in 10 seconds. As we're going to try to play Bio, it looks like? As a reactor goes down. Is he gonna try to play Bio here? I think he needs to do something very quickly. I think he needs more Hellions and a Siege Tank, maybe. Again, he still has two Command Center for those mules. So even though he lost a lot, he just, he's just still in the game. He is, yeah, but By having two I'm, mule. I'm concerned about the nine Banelings we're about to have on the board. Very concerned about these nine Banelings that are going to walk up and take the reactor or the supply depot yet again. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, the Hellion's holding them off? The reactor and supply depot are going to live? Are you kidding? Yeah, chase the Banelings, man, go! You gotta do something here. 
You have blue flame that hell that those that, those hellions need to hold the banelings on the low ground. Don't let it hit. Okay, it hits and it's damages the plates. Gonna die if it doesn't do something. <laughs> no. Okay, he's gonna switch it. Smart Asian guy definitely playing on a back foot this game. As oh, Max just droning hard now. This is seven. Yeah, he's he's got, just droning. He's got five blue flame hellion. He can do some map control now. He needs to get over to the Zerg's side of the map. It's only queens. There are two banelings and no lings. There are nine larvae, but if Matt can go, but if Smart Asian guy can go across the map, he can definitely gain control back in this game. Command center is being float has been floated back down to the natural position as we follow these hellions across the uh, map. It's only two banelings and a queen. Five hellions. These five hellions gonna. Here we go. Her. Come on. One one hellion does go down. Another the others do take some damage here, and Smart Asian guy must realize. Wait a minute. I'm ahead right now. I mean, four lings in the way are going down, but the four lings aren't going to do a lot. The drones are going to get roasted alive here. The queens are going to try to do it. One hellion is about to get picked here. The drones are just uh, getting obliterated. Eight of them go down. The zerglings are going to go down, too. Nice kiting on these hellions so far. Only lo Oh, now two go down. He's going to go into the main and see what he has. It's still just that baneling nest. Why is he pulling the drones? No, don't stack them like that. Twelve go down. Smart Asian guy's back in the game. Four, 13 more drones, nine more being produced, and with that, smart Asian guys up in workers. Way up. What is this game? What is this game? Smart Asian guys building bio. There are two barracks. Four barracks. There are four barracks right now. What is happening? He's the, got the he, minerals. He plays bio. Are you kidding? I've never seen this man go anything but mech. Well, and ladies and gentlemen, I said today's going to be the day we die, but I don't know about that. Aspire goes down for Mac here at the 8-minute mark. Definitely a very scrappy game. Stimpak here finishing. Four more aliens are going to try to come into the Zerg base and do more damage. He goes over and scouts this. 19 drones. He does have six larvae to react here. Nine now. As the aliens are going to go back into the mineral line, he's going to start picking as many drones as he can. He's trying to control Mac, and he's doing a great job at it. Five drones go down so far, and now six. He's going to continue on into the mineral line. Drones getting pulled again. Don't stack them like that. That's not good. Ten go down. They're all stacked on one spot. Fourteen. Seventeen. All the drones are almost dead, except for those three. Twenty. Two remain. One remains. All the drones are dead almost. Yeah, the aliens are going to be able to pick it. No! One drone lives! Okay! That's very lucky, but now he only has... Psst. 60 minerals. <laughs> minerals. What is this game? We might yeah. be seeing a game three. I thought that all it would have caught it, called it. The queens are going to make their way across the map. It looks like that's slightly terrifying. The spire finishes. The game. Yeah. Oh, smart Asian guy. You held so beautifully. And when you see those lings, you th what do you think to yourself? You have blue flame hellions. You have marines. There's no way that he's going to win. GG XD. GG is called after a failed all-in attempt by Mac. We're going to we're going to game 3 everyone. Wow. Everyone uh definitely a um an interesting game. Guys, these games let's go. I love you guys. These are the, this is by far one of the most fun sets I've cast. This is great. Looking at the uh we get to see more cliff jumps. Yeah, it looks like we do. Guys, that's not the right way to do it. I need WCS game heart so it gives me those little notifications that would make my day very much easy. Thank you. Yeah, well, here we go, guys. Game three. What map is this? It's Simulacrum. We're going to move that out, and we're going to give uh, one of us a ref, and then we're going to be good to go. Mm, excuse me for one minute. My throat is very dry. As soon as we get a uh, ready from Mac, we are going to hop into the final game in this best of three, finishing off the round of. This is the round of eight, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think so. Yeah, round of eight, hopping into semis. 
Yeah, go go is called and Oh guys, here we go. As soon as uh start, here we go. And after this game I will pull up the bracket so we can see what we have in store for tomorrow night's games in the semifinals. So Z V T. It's tied one to one right now. Mac and Smart Asian Guy are both fighting for their tournament lives. The winner of this is going to go on. Here we go. Smart Asian Guy is not ready to go to a game three. Here we go, though. Spawning in the bottom right corner. Playing as the Red Zerg for Team Legion. He is up. It is tied one to one, actually. It's Mac. And in the top left, we have the blue Smart Asian Guy. I think, is this Smart Asian Guy's first game three? He's got a proxy. No, it's not. He it's not? Something by now. No. Okay. <laughs> he would have said something by now. That's true. Proxies. That's true. <laughs> um, Looks like the... Uh, three drones. <laughs> this is the standard. Yeah, this is just the standard. He's got a 17 hatch. Are we going to get a full game? I think we might have a full game for game three. I don't know if... Full game would be good for MACD. Smart Asian guys, I think his control is pretty good. It is. It is. Uh, it definitely is, but I'm not sure, man. I want the Zerg to win. <laughs> you know me, though. I, I do like Zerg. Yeah, it's going to be, yeah, 17, 7, 17, 18, 17 again. Same as game one opener. As we see on the Terran side of the map, the same wall off that most Terrans do. He's not going to be able to wall off with the uh, reactor or the tech lab, though. But a Reaper is coming out first here as the SCV is going to scout in. Orbital Command also on the way for Smart Asian Guy. He's going to see the hatchery at the natural about three quarters of the way finished. And the spawning pool also about three quarters of the way finished. I think Mac timed this perfectly so he gets the... Uh, they're going to pop at almost exactly the same time here. Let's see if we can uh, get this in the shot. As it looks like spawning pool pops like a second or two before. SCV is going to stay there. Two, sec uh, two lings, two queens already in the production tab here. Yeah, it's base. It's a basic opener. Four lings, my mistake. Yep, four lings and two queens along with the overlord and metabolic boost being researched. Basic zerg opener. As smart Asian guy again, he's going to take the uh, he's going to take the natural. Without building it on the high ground, he's going to. The Reaper is sent to the third base to scout any greed from Mac after that. Uh, after that game one, where he took the very. Speaking of greed, here comes the drone. Can he get to mor morph into the hatchery? No, he's gonna morph to the extractor. He's gonna cancel it. He's gonna go back over. And now he's gonna get the hatchery. Great, great trick there by uh, wow. by Mac. He takes another early third base at two minutes and forty eight seconds. Wow, Mac's playing very greedy right now. I think that's what he needs to do right now. He's probably going to go for some kind of three-base roach push or something of that nature. As the metabolic boost only about halfway done right now. Factory and a tech lab are going down. He's going to make the same switch he always does. Um, smart Asian guy, that is. He's going to switch the factory over the reactor. Um, he might play bio again. Who knows? Three marines are being made. Maybe that's just for some early defense based off uh, based off last game. But he does, he does have games. two barracks. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I right, got the starport. Yeah. It seems a very standard two on one, mm -hmm. basic two on one. Knowing smart Asian guy though, we know the fusion core is coming down next. Come on. <laughs> um, maybe. Mm. Maybe. Yep. Here it's comes the. It's gonna be a standard marine tank push, maybe. That's possible, yeah. I haven't seen him do one of those, but I assume it's going to be good. The bunker being thrown down at the front of the natural. As the Roach Warren is about halfway done here yeah, in uh, the natural of Mac. Third base finishes. It's going to start. Um, I'm not sure if that's for mining or it's just for larva. That's an, going to be Can something I... interesting to see. Question is, what is it going to make out of the starport? Is it going to be liberated oh. or going to switch into... Oh, no. Max is going to try the Roach push again. Roach Wait a minute. Pushed. It's Stim. He's getting Stim. Smart Asian guy is going to play Bio. He's going to play Bio in the final game. Oh my god. After game one. Block, 
He is supply blocked, unfortunately. But they, oh, they both are. Two overlords pop for Mac, though, as these, what is this? Eight roaches and 20 wings are going to flow across the map, sitting at 26 drones to 34 SCVs. Eight marines are going to try to hold the line. They are in bunkers here. Stimpak is finishing in 10 seconds. Again, I don't think if these he, wings are going to get through. They will not, no. There is just way too much there. He's going to have to wait for the roaches. It is the now. Ravagers. Oh, yeah, there are ravagers. There are ravagers too. Two sure. ravagers, three. Yeah. He siege has tank. To ask more. There's a siege tank. He's okay. Siege tank, well, double eBay, and a refine and two refineries. Like these bunkers. He can boss like maybe one of them like possibly. He will be in siege tank range, that's the only issue. He's gonna walk up, he's gonna get caught by one, at least one or two of the siege tank blasts. He's grouped on himself. That's not very good. He does get one of the bunkers down. The marines are gonna have to kite back. SCVs get links. pulled. The surround on the siege tank, it does go down. Is he's he gonna be able back. to hold this? Smart Haitian guy is fighting for his tournament life here as the as as the Zerglings oh rip God. 15 SCVs apart. Mac, are you really about to do this? The wall on the high ground, the three Ravagers and the Roaches, another siege tank here. The third pile is going to get down. No, you could have picked it up with the medevac. No. All the wings go down, though. Smart Asian guy is going to try to hold. We saw him hold a Bane bust last game. Can he hold this, though? SCVs are going to be able to get the surround on the Ravagers, I think, as two Marines are going to pop. Combat <laughs> shield, too. Wait a minute. 30 <laughs> lings are running across yeah. the map. Wait, the siege tank, you need to get a supply depot now. Come on, you need a supply depot. What are you doing? Yeah, no. It doesn't get up the surround on the tank. Smart Asian guy, is this the final? Is this the final engagement? Supply Depot goes up late as the SCVs try the Marines, though. Wait, the Marines? The Marines? He's holding? He's going to hold. The SCVs provided a barrier for the Marines. He didn't get around to the Marines. 37 SCVs, but as I said last game, Terran is never out until he's dead. Until you see that GG, never count the Terran player out. They have mules. They have everything they need. They can immediately come back. The army difference isn't even that big. It's literally even now. Oh, now it is exactly even. The, the lings are just going to try to pick everything here. Mac, you are just evil, man. God. I love you, but you're evil. And smart Asian guy is just going to continue to bring out the workers, I guess. I mean, Mac is gonna, on himself, he's droning back on the third base now. This, this is a great best of three to finally cap off our round of eight, everyone. I'm, I'm super excited for the matches tomorrow with either one of these guys winning. This is amazing. I mean, smart Asian guy's down about 30 supply right now, but we saw an amazing whole double evil chambers going down here, along with the layer here as the injects, ooh, a little bit of a inject mismatch here. He's not stacking the injects either. That might be uh, purposeful, but um, we're going to see. 11 roaches being produced. That's not good. Tunneling claws? Nope, roach speed. Okay, that was a misclick. I got very concerned there. <laughs> I was extremely worried for a minute. I'm like, are we going to get meme now, boys? Okay, so. Tunneling claws, like, I don't know. I do get excited when I see it, though. <laughs> <laughs> Three more Ravagers morphing in here as the double Evo is done. I'm not sure if Mag is going to, uh... Oh, five Ravagers oh, now. So, oh, this is going to be a very interesting push. Um, 22 Lings. I think Max just going to go for it. Smart Asian guy's going for a marine pushing, tank push. What are you down. doing, my guy? Don't you know. have to, you're gonna have to Don't micro know. this perfectly. This is really bad. I think this is gonna be really Dude, bad. The medevacs have to catch it. The medevacs aren't gonna catch it though. No. Okay, the first medevac does. The medevacs okay. do catch it. That's very good for him. Okay. Stim Stim is activated as the this tanks. Here we go. Thing. Wait a minute. Bio's coming down. Know. He's gonna have to pick up. Ooh, a bunch oh, of marines do get sniped. Oh, that's a good... Roach speed though. is finishing. The medevacs game. running for their life. Oh, these links are, like, right underneath them. This is a hot yeah. drop. Siege tanks are dropped? Hot. What is this? A siege it's tank hot. is here hot. as they are going to try to siege up. The Ravagers oh, are just going to come in. So many biles so raining down no, on the siege I tanks. This is going to be it. Oh. Mac is going to take I the game, I think. think. Smart Asian guy, I'm sorry, my friend. You tried and you fought hard, but at the end of the day, this many Ravagers followed up by this many Lings. 
You held the baneling push. GG is called. Ouch. Smart Asian guy. Greatly, great right. games. Mac, congratulations. You are advancing to the semifinals. That was... That was intense. You guys, great games. Oh I God. will... I will pull up the bracket now, but while we wait, uh, I do want to say, first of all, we d currently have uh, $43.02 in the, the donation page for this tournament. Uh, Iron, do you want to explain how that uh, works at the end of this for, for a minute while I uh, pull up the bracket? Sure. Um, yeah, we have a match arena. You can donate to it. You can also use coupon codes, uh, Vengeance, add 50 cents, but all the coupon codes have been used already. You can do some sponsor quests to donate more money to it. About like ten cents and whatnot, but uh, lately the sponsor quests haven't been too good. So hopefully we get some better ones later. That would be very, um, uh, very nice. Uh, let me pull this up here, as I will pull a display capture up. And hopefully I'll get tier two Matrino, and then uh, we'll get twenty five dollars <laughs> uh, for so, the coupon instead of fifteen. That would be very nice, actually. Yeah. So, as we can see way. here, I'm going to zoom in so we can uh, read this um, read this bracket top to bottom. Uh, from the round of 32, I think it was, yep, we had a few, we had a bunch of 2-0s and a bunch of 2-1s. Going into this, it is going to be a great semifinal tomorrow at 7 p.m. We're going to do both back-to-back, -back, if I'm not mistaken. Um... Great players advancing out of the round of eight. It is a 2-0 from Budget, who did 2-0 uh, Laub, the man who beat me. Um, Gastritis 2-0'd uh, Roadhog. Zlider 2-0'd Skinner. And Mac 2-1 uh, Smart Asian Guy. The only 2-1. The only actual full set of best of three in the round of eight. Now moving on to the, to the semifinals. It is... Budget and gastritis, and it is going to be confirmed now. It is Slider and Mac. Congratulations to our semifinalists, and congratul and thank you everyone for. Uh, if you played in this, thank you. If you just came along to watch some good StarCraft action from the uh, the diamonds and below, thank you again. Um, I'm going to plug this one more time before we uh, hop off the air here. The Legion Invitational is June 6th at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's going to be 16 players. The skill cap is Masters 1 to Grand Master at 5.5k MMR. Again, we're going to have Jim Rising, Starkiller, Hydra, Lightsider, Raiden, Aster, Quas, Savage, Viper, Flickerwisp, Benjadeth, Rainmaker, and more. We do have confirmation that Florencio is going to be casting it with Gamer Richie, which is going to be absolutely awesome. Um, I'm not sure what the donation pool is at for that right now, but I will definitely have that set up for... Uh, Invitational? Yes. It's like 280 something $280! There we go, guys! <laughs> it's a $280 prize pool. That's what happens when you get Grandmasters playing, I guess. That is absolutely amazing. Congratulations again to all of our players um, in, to, in the Wu-Tang Cup. That's not what I want to pull up. I'm just going to leave it on that. Congratulations, everyone. Absolutely amazing play. And, Iron, do you have anything? No. Awesome. We will see you guys tomorrow at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 4 p.m. Pacific. See you guys then. Thank you all for watching. Have a good night.